That's my glove. He wants us to see both sides of him. But <laughs> Maybe I can do some uh, feeder insect hunting without uh, being interrupted by this guy. I got you, Augie. Oh yeah, like a little butterfly. Looks like I got some kind of little fly and larva. I don't know what they are, but... I've got a little wild caught true spider in the house and it's tiny and I need something to feed him. So this is the enclosure that I have the little spider that I found outside um, living in and it's made a web underneath the leaf on the left below the water bowl and um, it's actually in there eating um, an earwig. This is a, a small earwig. Um, and so that's good. And I'm, I'm thinking, again, this might be a hobo spider, what we call a hobo spider. Um, and as it grows, you know, maybe I'll find out more and be able to narrow it down at least in general. It's a pretty little thing. Um, I'm in a put uh, a couple more creatures in there for it. <clears throat> what I have are some tiny flies. Please excuse me, my wrist is not functioning at full. It's full function. It's not fully functional. Um, anyway, so there's a couple of these little flies in here and there's this little, I don't know, like a beetle larva. I don't actually know what it is, but they're tiny, so I think uh, they may be good candidates for the spider to eat. The tiny flies <clears throat> are in the enclosure. You can see one crawling on the bottom left, and then there's one sitting in the web. There were three of them. So I think they're about the right prey size for such a small, small sling, um, especially, you know, for hunting on its own, and it's even got its web set up in there. I'm not sure if you can see that. You can see a bit of it from this angle, it's attached to the, to the side of the enclosure inside. Maybe you can see the spider. See his legs right, right there, feeding on the earwig. So I'm going to put the top back on here so these flies don't get out. And let this little one be. 